hello everyone so in this video we'll be seeing about um, stenosis and regurgitation in mitral valve mitral valve and aortic valve so we'll be talking about so we'll be talking about mitral stenosis mitral regurgitation aortic stenosis aortic regurgitation so just the key points needed for mcq will be seen so first thing you have to know about all these four is all of them will increase preload high preload is seen in all of these conditions but in mitral valvular problem the afterload will be normal whereas in aortic conditions the afterload will be high preload is high in all the conditions whereas in aortic conditions alone the afterload will be high in mitral and aortic stenosis in stenosis in stenosis the most common presentation will be dyspnea dyspnea on exertion in regurgitation the most common presentation will be palpitation the second mcq that you must know the first mcq in all four valvular problems preload will be high and after load is high only in aortic related problems aortic aortic stenosis and regurgitation okay and the second mcq is stenosis <coughs> means dyspnea presentation is dyspnea regurgitation presents with palpitation this is point number 2 point number 3 in stenosis in stenosis the cardiac output will be low in regurgitation the cardiac output will be high cardiac output will be low and cardiac output will be high in stenosis cardiac mitral and aortic stenosis cardiac output will be low in mitral and aortic regurgitation cardiac output will be high that's the third point point number 4 in stenosis in order to overcome the stenosis pressure related change will be there that is concentric hypertrophy concentric hypertrophy will occur in the ventricles there is pressure related change in regurgitation volume related change will be there that is eccentric eccentric hypertrophy there is volume related change so concentric means pressure related eccentric means volume related stenosis pressure related regurgitation volume related stenosis is concentric regurgitation is eccentric <coughs> so if you know these four points it should be very very useful for your exams i repeat in all these four conditions mitral stenosis regurgitation aortic stenosis regurgitation preload will be high and afterload will be high only in aortic problems number 2 stenosis means dyspnea stenosis means dyspnea stenosis means low cardiac output regurgitation means palpitation regurgitation means high cardiac output stenosis means concentric hypertrophy which is pressure related problem regurgitation means eccentric hypertrophy which is volume related problems i hope these points will be helpful for clearing the mcqs thank you